Oh, hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's <laughs> let's continue our game of Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, running on PlayStation 4. Uh, well, actually I'm running on PlayStation 5, which is... You know what, forget it. Let's just play the game. Uh, what are we doing next? Uh, we just went... Oh, we still gotta do the Getting sniper mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could see 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Ocean. This Contra. mission is fucking it ridiculous. It just makes me feel that. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what? That's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lavo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my real name. No, are you Hungarian? Uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love to go, Laszlo. Or Mark. Or John. Or Beverly. Whatever your name is. All right, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Burnips. Fruit vegetables. You know, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay. Here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. Just look how many times oh, I tried. He got taken off the air. He laughed. These damn trucks everywhere. God, I really don't remember this mission being this hard. Uh, but again, I... Uh, back in these days when uh, this game came out, I actually was used to the, uh, the flipped Y-axis when aiming. And now that I've you know played so many games that uh, where the axis is, uh, well, it is being a parent today. No the other way, it's it's actually hard to get used I to love it. I the show. I'm a first time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog Hugo got hit by a truck, and he says, "Mommy, mommy, where's the reset button?" Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Lazlo. It is very, very serious. I let my kid play video games, and now he runs around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go chase money. My little fan is playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. People say it's bad for you. It's not bad for you at all. Why are you talking? Oh, you think I'm strange? Right on the air. Hello? You have to be a pansy. What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. <laughs> what about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and, and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You're just like all the rats. How's that? Fluoride right, is evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to... <sighs> okay. Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Mm-hmm. No, thanks. Now, it's hard to believe this. Uh, the character's name is Clyde. Like, they never even mention his name, ever. I don't think there's a single time where uh, they say his name. <laughs> and, uh, and I would have never ever guessed that this was, this was Clyde. You know, like one of the ghosts from, you know, Pac-Man. <sighs> okay, so... So, um, in this case, this is a flight. Set up like a flight uh, sim, where uh, down is up and up is down. Right. Oh, I can't get used to this. You see me struggling. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. What? I, oh, God damn it. Well, 
Oh, I hate this mission. It's so hard to get through. And then the more you shoot, the more stars you, uh... Or the more your wanted meter increases. And it's just like... You just keep going up and up and up. And by the time you finish the mission, it's, uh, I think it's almost full. Say 20 recently paroled guys, equipped them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even... City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural Selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the chatter line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. <laughs> I can get past this mission someday. God. Pain in the ass. Boy, you think the you'd think playing the sniper rifle would be more fun. It, it is not. Show, how about letting other people talk for a change? You're all the same, you giants. Oh, I'm so all. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee Wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had it with people whining about guns that kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safe of my own home and car. I ain't hurting nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. Y you know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't have guns aren't that's American. Like, well, you know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants him to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff? Buy your... I bet the cat. Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Mm-hmm. I wish you'd wait a little while before you head in. Get your ass killed all the time. Why don't you wait till it's clear? I mean, there's tons of guys shooting at you. You're like, okay, let me let me march on in like a dumbass. You got me covered, right? No, I don't. Wait till they're dead. Okay, oh god. I don't know why I can't get used to that. Normally it doesn't take me very long to adjust uh, to the uh, the flipped access, but something about this game doesn't uh, doesn't agree with me. I think the sensitivity's off a little bit too, you know, it's like super, super sensitive. Come on, get over there. That not Come on. Oh, God. It's so hard just to get the stick to where you want it to. Yeah, I can go over there. Okay, where are you, damn lunatic?
you're blowing up when you're still on the ship. You're not a smart guy. anymore? Oh, okay. Sure, let's just take this then. <laughs> Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant, incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams Hey, I just won a Nobel Peace Prize! and not. Oh, wonder brass ones on demand. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you <laughs> will <laughs> I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology. Oh, I finally finished that stupid ass mission. Alright, what's the next one? I have no idea. think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brother. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the baby. And she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom. Imaginative, exotic, constantly. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement? <laughs> Boy, you kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's club. The inside is covered in brains. We gotta help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. <laughs> you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. 
Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Lazlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a bit different. Anyway. Car's a trap. Meet me at the slip south of Callahan Bridge. Okay, sure. Let's go. Coming to tuck his babies into the bed, but for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. After he needs to swing you. So he starts flirting <laughs> with the it's, secretary, takes Ralph. It's even funny just to, well, just to see a, a, a pager you know you know, so prominently in the game. He's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. I've seen one of those in a long time. I know what you are like. Although they uh, they certainly make them and use them, you know, they're certainly in service. I think it's like, it's like three or four dollars a month to uh, have an active one. My marriage doesn't need saving. Hey, do you are the one mentioning the pretty assistant and the office furniture and the Icarama, my friend? Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present for me both. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrubbing brush and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about what well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. Wait, what the hell? How do I get down there? Now look at that moon. <laughs> it's all stretched out. I mean, the game was originally uh, in uh, 4.3. Uh, I don't know if you can set it to 4.3 anymore. Oh, you can, actually. Here, let's do this. Now, if we look at... Uh, I mean, it's still a little wide, but uh, it is... Is more appropriately, uh, more appropriately proportioned, right? Otherwise, it's like. <laughs> Alright. Oh, did my car disappear? Well, of course it did. If I ask another vehicle. Remarkable with my unique counseling. I found Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I. Well, this is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend. It's, it's a so good. She's someone we could trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. <laughs> I 
I don't know, you can definitely see that this game was revolutionary. I mean, being able to uh, roam so freely around, you know, uh, piloting so many different kind of vehicles, you know, a fairly wide variety of mission types. Although, you know, that uh, that starts to disappear after a while as well. But, you know, starting off, I mean, it's, um, there's a lot of stuff to do in the game. Especially consider the size of a normal game uh, during the same period of time, you know. Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. Uh, yeah, we better go save first. Passion. Right, there we go. Yep. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry. News just in from the traffic desk: repairs to the Callahan Bridge have been completed. Since the explosion, engineers have been working around the clock to get traffic flowing between Portland and Staunton Island once again. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat porker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. Who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, Laszlo. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janet, if her husband goes to new beginning, she thinks, Senor Wonderful, all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she come to work for me. And she get a new beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me, cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very early word, a travesty. I work miracles, senor, not pimping. I save, I give the fashion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy, because for my people, we take these initials very personally. And then, you no longer, Mr. T All right, sayonara, Salvatore. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I am Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore Leone's family. I can give you work with our organization, but first you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours' time. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. That's not a massager. <laughs> oh, man, I remember when Grand Theft Auto was not such a serious piece of shit script. <laughs> it was just something that was generally just, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, you know, funny and sarcastic. You know, nowadays it's, it's trying to be like a like an impressive drama, but it just feels like some cheap high school play. You know, <laughs> just a minute. Actually, high school plays tend to be like reworks of uh, of Shakespeare, so you know that's probably not fair to high school plays. You know, we all uh, we all try to justify how good the script is uh, because we like playing the game. But man, that Grand Theft Auto V script—that was some shit, man. I saved your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not another one. I think spanking kids is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the car out of me. He won't hit me so hard, my sleeve fell out of my ear. It didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control guy in the world. I kill more rats, roaches, vermin than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country, I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy hadn't beat me that. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration does continue, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about bees swarming. It sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about the damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Phones. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep... Them hands, please, please. Oh, oh, my God. What the hell would they shoot me with? Yeah, I can't remember all the icons show up now. to get the mission again have one delivered just log on to pets your job affecting your health do you yes. become fatigued does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling there's an easy solution sue your boss see the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything and you'll probably win or at least get a settlement at the firm of Rickon and Ponds are personal injury attorneys we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer we also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto uh, of course I could just reload 
probably faster than crossing the bridge again. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's... You want a license too? Alright, I'm better prepared. We'll, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me Barry the Thumb. String puppets, cross puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has one, and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs, but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium God, God, God. Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you. Okay. Boy. At the Medieval Millennium Fair, learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the Internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Clothes. W what about them? Clothes. What are you talking about? Laszlo, clothes. Clothes, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. I mean, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier voting station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a lion wear clothes, and the lion is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess a lion has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's, as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can. But I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, my folks. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? To offend you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being yeah. naked. It's so invigorating to feel the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drink. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We 
We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? Of hanging out with loads uh, of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think again? clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude, groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest growing U.S. run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop. Jeez. Be sure it's a while for it to quality -led occur. Every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast. And why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Guns, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. School's the breeding ground for crime, ain't they? I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools and shut down the problems. No more dead teachers. No more angry students. Well, but you don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot. But you know what? God, come on. I mean, shoes, books, toys, special tiny furniture, pets, that sort of crap. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. Well, not my Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. God <laughs> damn it. Bathroom. Left so much as one hair on the shelf, it was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed a hungry old one and gave it 30 times. He learned. Now he brings his mother lunch to bed every day so she can sleep in. But they tell you, everyone who has their kids serving up, he even cooks for the whole family. He says he gets too big to be timid, so now he's a paralegal breaking him home. Seven and he's making magic. He's running 3,000 a year. And on weekends, he ah, doesn't go to the mall and play soccer. Get out, get out, get out! Uh, get out! Fuck. <laughs> ah. Alright, well, here we go again. Oh, I just want to retry the mission. Nope, that option didn't exist back in these days. Reload. little joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour when i'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone i know me and my family are safe mm -hmm. i can go use that massager
But I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new My Batsu Monstrosity, mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to when I'm getting my component irrigated, I just wanted to say something about the internet, you know, information for highway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but you're going to be so what, what, what? I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, the clothes that you want to buy is what you I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I show Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy things online, and then I just use like a traditional format, so I can listen to it while I'm jogging. It's incredible. I also like jazz and cooking and bestiality, so the internet is really good for my hobby. I think it's amazing. I used to go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy those kids with their stock jobs and their fast cars. They earn them. The internet has saved my life. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Weird camera move. Let's see, that's just some health. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god. Up, 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 up. Out, out, out. What, really? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Definitely not a bug free game. Well, of course, that's still true nowadays. I mean, there's certainly less uh, less bugs in uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Or, uh, sorry, Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. About one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you look like. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So let's let that clever stuff and give me some advice. I mean, come on, I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this boyfriend. And at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. <laughs> You know, he treats me good, but he doesn't seem real interested in me. You know, he's always working and hanging out with the guys. Um, say, you don't think he's like you, do you? What do you mean, like me? Well, what are you insinuating? That, that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff. Oh, God. It's not one mission that's screwy, it's another. Back-to-back <laughs> -back screwy missions. gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Razzle, the people have spoken, and they have said no, not in my town. So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons in the suit, no thanks, not in my town. Not while I have a breath in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? 
about grabbing the town by the balls and saying, listen, son, time to put up or shut up. No more just the nice guy. No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference about thousands of people walking side by side as Brother Marley. Only one thing on their mind, the chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much he needs and more than the chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and leave them a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Dude, even the elderly care about tomorrow. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look. Do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping America. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Wow, I can't believe it. You have a question. Dude, I call every day and I never get through. This is amazing. You do a great show, man. Thanks. What's, uh, what, 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 what's up? Oh, man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. And exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay, right now I live at home, but pretty soon, like, next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh, the big 4-0 and it's, it's, it's just time to go. Okay, did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude, that B dude was bogus. You be bogus. That's all. Great show, lad, though. I, I appreciate that. That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. Found up. At Eris, we make high quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that... I suppose we could try to be a little bit more uh, creative. Huh? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Too late. Zen, dojo, and organic food market in Britain. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Bad Bo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really should be put together. Okay, Bad Bo. Actually, it's nothing like ice cream. Pizza, ice cream. Try, my God. Well, it's been so long since I played these games. I forget how much of a pain in the ass the missions are.
As though this is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, maybe one of No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. And it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17... You want a license too? If you like meatgrass, I think you'll really like meatgrass. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, hi -ya! Okay, Dad, though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me angry. It's bad for my karma, and it will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts so I could stand up to bullies just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food... Ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Glad though, is cold. Alright, borrow that. Normally I'd say this is a more sturdy vehicle, but you can flip it over super easy. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on chatter. Oh well, it's more appropriate than my sports car. Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you can still fear in your corner. You never know when you might descend from the raptors. Like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja. Was that? Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with the raw and cooked organic vegetables. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half on my bare toes. In fact, that low. I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. And this desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish and has three drawers and knowing this station it cost hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks. And now I shall make it so dragon stand. Hey ya! Oh! Oh, that oh, low! Let no! I think I hurt my hand in my pinky's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lad, though, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I breathe easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lad, though. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the feng shui in here. Downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes me talk like this. Okay, the listener. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Leslo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you take him up from? The state student? That wacko you had going on about killer bees. What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees. Uh, they pull some artificial sweeteners and soda pop. As well, it's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite thing. 
Seriously? It's... <laughs> they didn't even shoot it that much. Oh god. It's killer B. Oh. Listening to a love media station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. The station, it feels like my second family. Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, little man, I, I was listening to that English wimp you were talking to earlier. You want a license, too? Sounds so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, Shmerky, man. And another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football, man? Oh boy, I'm never gonna get past this mission. <laughs> God. Good wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men's sports like football. Hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'm dating. I'll take anybody down. I'm the hopscotch master. I got fly skills, hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of see your point, but, you know, you'd be a little cranky, too, if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce. Here, let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? Has the spark gone out of your love life? Looking to add a little adventure to the monotony of monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how the kids in the world can take the passion out of your life. Not a bus, With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guaranteed. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the turnpike. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved. So you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to the pleasure of the law, to the miracles of the world. And truly, the 
The results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand barrels have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Ring us now. <laughs> hey, oh, cool. Now. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. My marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A me, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy. But first of all, she gives Jerry five kids. But she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat porker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show. I've always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice. Why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy. And you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, that's right. The women they think in your beginning is very important. Ah, damn it. So annoying. Oh. All right, why don't we stop it there? Uh, I guess we're not beating this today. Uh, this is Autoposh for you watching Grand Theft Auto 3 on uh, PlayStation 4. Um, actually, the PlayStation 2 game, and we're playing on PlayStation 5. Oh, you know, whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.